Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I want to do a, uh, uh, not a top five necessarily, but um, it's a video of pocket fountain pens and these are my favorite five that are currently in my collection. Now, there have been a couple of recent additions to the market uh, in the last couple of weeks. Pen BBS have released theirs, uh, as have a couple of other brands. Uh, but I wanted to cover the five that are in my collection that I like the most. Now, a couple of these have recently been reviewed and a couple of these are about to be reviewed. Um, so, yeah, these aren't in any particular order. I just wanted to show um, what I like from my collection. But first, what I wanted to do was I wanted to describe sort of, to me, what a pocket pen is. Now, obviously, a pocket pen is a small pen that fits in your pocket. So, does that mean the Sailor... Uh, Pro Gear Slim or Sapporo, whatever you want to call it, uh, is a pocket pen. Well, you know what? In my opinion, yeah, it kind of is. As is the Twisby uh, Vac Mini and the Classic Mini. Um, so, you know, one of probably one of the the main uh, pocket pens that are available is the Kaweco Sport. This is the Milligram Special Edition Sage. Uh, you know, and there are a number of a large number of ripoffs of the Kaweco Sport. This is the Alpha uh, in the resin version. Um, for me, the Alpha is actually almost a better pen. Uh, it does take a standard international converter. So it's just a little bit longer to allow for that. But you know, you can see that these are all pretty little pens. Um, a couple of others I really wanted to mention, uh, and for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the Moonman, I think this is the 80 Mini or something like that. Um, it's a really cool little pen. Uh, you know, close to being in my five, really, if I was going to be completely honest. And then something that uh, I've reviewed recently um, is the Milam Brass Pocket Fountain Pen. So, you know, you get a, even a variety of what pocket pens are here. Um, and, yeah. So, when I first started thinking about doing this video, so, uh, a viewer got in touch with me uh, and suggested uh, it, that I look at a particular pocket pen, uh, this one. Now, it's branded with hero it's not got a model number or anything like that that i can find anywhere it's a really interesting little um pocket pen that's like a lot of these others you screw the, the cap on the end this is actually a really nice little pen um i'm not a huge fan of some of the build quality i think the threads are a little bit loose uh for my uh, taste um but you know it's a good little pen and really great value at about six bucks australian so it takes a, a standard international cartridge uh, the short version. I'll do a little writing sample with this in a minute. I just wanted to cover it. It's, you know, small. It's got an interesting look. It's this sort of three-part build, so um, you unscrew the back, the, cocoon, the, the cartridge goes in there, uh, and of course the cap as well. So, um, you know, it's a very nice little looking pen, and, you know, it actually does a decent job. Uh, so, these are a number of the pocket pens that, uh, or pens that I consider the pocket pens. These aren't necessarily pocket pens, but I think they they fit that mold still very well. They're compact. Um, they become a good length, sort of solid pen when you post them. And, you know, they're nice pens and they write beautifully, particularly this sailor, I have to say. Um, so, yes, the, so I'll just do a quick little rundown of these ones as I've shown you that one already and I'll do a writing sample of that in a minute. In a similar way, the Milan one, which has a Schmidt nib, this is um, a brass uh, pen, you know, it uh, becomes a decent length pen when posted, a little bit back heavy perhaps, but, you know, good as a sort of a carry around in your pocket, attach it to your journal somehow, sort of a pen, really handy. The Moonman Mini here, doesn't unscrew, it once again becomes a decent length pen, uh, a little bit short perhaps, um, but, you know, once again, perfectly fine, nice little pen. Um, what makes the Twisby Vac Mini um, so unique is the fact that it does uh, screw to post there, uh, and this becomes a really good length pen and really nicely balanced when it's uh, when it's uh, posted like that. So it's a really nice small fountain pen. Now the Kaweco well-known pen, you know, the biggest issue with this pen is the fact that it doesn't you know come it doesn't take an international converter or anything like that. You have to get a special converter for it. They are available. Um, but it's a nice pen, and the clip, and you can buy a clip separately, or you can have it without a clip, all that sort of stuff. Good range of nibs. So these are really interesting pens, but they're not the five I want to look at today. So, let's start with those. 
and I will come back to the hero. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out here Alami Safari. Now the Alami Safari, everyone knows the size of this pen, so this will give you a good guide as to exactly what sort of size these pens are. Then what I'm going to do, right here, I'm going to put a 15 centimeter ruler. So what we're going to in effect have is a size comparison of the pen and then sort of a decent little measurement of the pen. Now this isn't a review of these pens, I just wanted to talk about them, show them, and then I'm going to do a quick writing sample with each of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Wonkai Mini. This pen, when it came onto the market, really blew people away. The material is stunning. Um, you can see that sort of ribboned acrylic, um, and it's got a nice little nib, nib on it, and when it's posted, it becomes a really nice size. So as you can see, posted, not a huge pen, Alongside Alami Safari, it's not that big, but when it's what's nice about this is how compact it is. Um, it does take proprietary cartridges, which is a bit of a pain, uh, but it was provided with some, and it does an eyedropper. So small, really nice pen, but beautiful pen. It's just this beautiful little acrylic, and there's a couple of different variations you can get of this. You can also get it in uh, Ebonite. So that's the first one. We'll do a writing sample of that in just a few minutes. Next is the uh, Kaveco Lilliput. Now this pen is tiny. It is probably one of the smallest fountain pens on the market. Um, it's got sort of still got decent sort of um, uh, you know it takes a standard international cartridge and all of that sort of thing, and it's got great nibs on them. Um, but it is a tiny little pen, but it packs a huge punch the way that this pen writes. Um, so here it is. You know when it's um. Put together, it's not that different really to Alami Safari the way you would write with that pen. And I really like the design. It's got a really cool sort of sleek look. It's you know it's quite lightweight uh, and it's rugged for its size. It you know you could chuck this in your pocket without even having to think about it. It's a really cool little pen. Next is the Travelers Company Brass Fountain Pen. Now um, this has obviously got some patina on it. I've been using this for on and off for about a, a little under a year. It's a, you know, it's a very narrow pen, but when it's posted, it's a really good size. Um, I'll just put that there. So, you know, once again, it becomes longer than the Lamy Safari uh, in writing mode, although you can, of course, post the Lamy Safari and it becomes quite long. Now, this also takes standard international uh, cartridges. You can't get a converter for it, although you could put us one of those small sort of squeeze Kavoko converters in it. Uh, but the design is great. Um, you can take the clip off without any issue. There's a few sort of nice little features about it. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice pen. And it writes beautifully. The nib on this, it's a fine, only comes in fine, but it's a really good fine nib. Next is probably my favorite of this. I have to say this is probably my favorite. It is the Pilot Elite. Uh, now the Elite is, well, there's an, I think it's E95 as well, um, is a really nice pen, it's got a gold nib inlaid, I bought this one second hand, um, but it's a beautiful pen, and you can see there, not a bad length really, uh, in fact, when it's posted, it's longer than an unposted Lamy Safari, so it's got good length, it's got a great, great nib on it, it does take the Pilot uh, proprietary cartridges and converter. I have a converter in this, I think it's the Con 40. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice pen and I think it's got a great look. And it, especially when it's um, posted, I think that's a really classy looking pen. Next on the list is what is considered by many to be a disposable fountain pen pocket uh, pen. It is the Pilot Petite One. Now, this is a plastic little pen, just takes a little. Uh, cartridges that come with it, and you can buy them separately, uh, I think, if you desire. Um, but this is a really affordable pen. It posts nice and secure. It's got a good section on it. Not, it's not slippery plastic. It's not the strongest plastic, but it certainly feels strong enough that you could you know, use this pen without having to worry about throwing it in your bag, all of those sorts of things. But what's really nice about this, this is the blue-black one. It comes in a range of colors. So there's pinks, there's red, there's blue, there's black, all the sort of standard colors. And this one uh, writes first time every time, always. I can leave this, these, you know, in my bag for a few months and go back to it and write absolutely easily. In fact, this one hasn't been written with for probably a month, 
uh, and we'll be seeing it in action in just a couple of minutes. Um, also, the blue-black in, uh, in this pen is just about my favourite blue-black ink of any. So I wish that this would come bottled, um, but you can see, small pen, um, 11 centimetres or so when it's po uh, capped, and uh, when it's posted, you do get, you know, a fairly decent length pen. In fact, once again, it's on par with an unposted Lamy Safari, and most people can write with a Lamy Safari uh, unposted without any issue. Now, the nibs on this one is interesting. Um, it's the same sort of nib as like the Varsity and all of those sorts of pens. It's not the most amazing nib, but it's smooth, it's relatively wet, it does the job. And as I said, they write first time every time, so it's a massive, massive win. Okay, so let's do a writing sample with these pens now. Uh, and I'm going to start with the Hero, just because it's not necessarily in the top five, but uh, this particular model was requested uh, of me. So I'm going to write with this, all of these in the way that they're intended to be written with, so po most of them posted. Um, the section on this one is quite small, like if that's what you consider to be the section, it is very small. I hold the pen further back. The threads and the step down there aren't sharp. Uh, you can see the nib there is branded with the Hero logo. Um, so what we have here is the Hero Pocket Fountain Pen, and I really don't know the uh, model number. If anyone's got that information, I'd love to know. Uh, this is just, these are either inked with a generic uh, black ink cartridge or the ink cartridge that is proprietary uh, to the pen, and the Pilot Elite is with Lamy Black. So for this one, I'll just put black cartridge. It's smooth, you can hear that it, you know, it's not scratchy, it's laying down a good line of ink, um, and, you know, it's not the stiffest nib either. There's a little bit of sort of line variation there to be had, so it's an interesting pen, one that I actually am quite, uh, quite a fan of, uh, particularly the way it writes. The build itself I'm not necessarily a huge fan of, but, you know, it's not too bad. Okay, let's have an, a look now at the Wonkai Mini. So once again, I'll write with this posted, because that's the way it's intended. And this is, has the uh, Moon Man proprietary cartridge in it. So this is uh, probably a fine uh, nib. And it's got the Moon Man. Cartridge. Um, it's smooth. It's not... There's a bit of feedback on it, I have to say. Um, but it's not unpleasant. In fact, I would go so far to almost say it's a pleasant feedback. Um, and once again, it's absolutely you know wet enough. It's not the wettest ink in there, but uh, as you can see, it does a pretty decent job. And you know none of these are going to be pens you're going to be writing with for long writing sessions. Uh, but for ta so for taking a few notes here and there, this is a really lovely pen. And the fact you can eyedropper it, fill that whole. Uh, part of the barrel there with, with ink um, means that you're going to have a decent amount of ink on you and it's a pretty sturdy pen so you wouldn't you don't have to worry about it leaking or anything like that. So then we have the Kaveco Lilliput which is one of the smallest pens as I said and certainly one of the smallest pens I own um, but when it's you know posted it's actually not so bad it's a bit uh, narrow a lot of these pens are slim by nature of the build but it does have the nice sort of Kaveco steel nib and I have a medium on it here uh, so, yeah, it's just really nice. The Kaveco Lily Put. This is a medium with a generic black cartridge. This is smooth. And it's really quite wet. Um, it's laying down a really lovely line uh, of ink. Now, they're stiff nibs, they are rigid, absolutely rigid, uh, but they're a pleasant, pleasant nib to write with. And because the weight of the pen, it's you, it's a very light pen, it feels nice in the hand. Yeah, nothing to complain about at all there. Next is the Traveler's Brass Fountain Pen. Now, I bought this pen for a trip to Europe I did, and I, I used it every day for uh, my bullet journaling and note-taking and all of that, and it was absolutely perfect. And it's now not, there we go, a bit of a hard start there.
running around the tripod is a bit tricky today. Uh, this is fine, it only comes in fine as far as I'm aware, uh, but for this sort of purpose, I think fine is actually pretty good. Um, so, you know, it's a smooth enough nib, it's certainly not scratchy, there's no feedback on it, it's not a wet nib at all. Um, this is also a generic black cartridge. But uh, yeah, nice smooth nib, easy to write with, reliable, super sturdy pen. Uh, you don't have to worry about this one at all. It's rugged, it's designed to be taken with you. It's a really very, very nice little pocket pen. Next is the Pilot Elite. Now this, as I said, is one of my favorite, probably my favorite pocket pen. It's probably one of my favorite pens full stop at the moment. Pilot Elite. As I said, I think it's the E95 or something like that. Uh, this is a medium. And it's a gold nib. I think it's a. Uh, can't quite make it out, but 18 carat maybe there. Um, yeah, but it's a lovely pen. It's smooth. This is ink is Lamy Black. As I said, I have this in a cartridge uh, converter. Um, yeah, like it's wet. It's smooth. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's a little bit of line variation to be had, although I wouldn't push it because I think it'd be relatively easy to spring. But a really nice pen, feels great in the hand because there's no sort of set section area, you can hold it wherever you want to. It's a, not a slippery plastic and it's got a really very, very classy look. So in terms of pocket pens, I don't think you can get much better than the Pilot Elite. Great little pen, really great little pen. And then my fav little favorite, the Pilot Petite one. This is the um, as I said, the disposable. And there we go, first time. Blue black. And it's, uh, this is the uh, blue black that comes with it. And uh, fine. So, smooth nib, not super wet, but I don't, also don't think the ink is super wet. But it's just a really lovely pen to write with. Simple, cheap, well, not necessarily cheap, but affordable. And uh, reliable and that's the main thing it's reliable that's what makes this pen so special is the fact that you can throw this in your bag it's rugged enough to withstand it throw it in your bag leave it for a couple of months if you, if you come back to it and it will write i think you can also eye drop of this if you put a o-ring and you know grease you know silicon grease the threads so really yeah i can't complain at all about that pen for the price i think this one just about beats all of them so, the pens we had are the Wonkai Mini, the Kaweco Lilliput, the Traveller's Company Brass Pocket Fountain Pen, the Pilot Elite, and the Pilot Petite One. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me, and I'd love to see what you're up to over there. So please get in touch if there's products you think I should be looking at or new products on the market that you think I should be uh, reviewing and taking some time with, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel uh, through product sponsorship or whatever, uh, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, be they big or small, enjoy your writing, and I'll talk to you later.